I'll snap my fingers and that blue gun will disappear. It didn't work. Not everything's real, kids. C7 Viper! <laughs>everyone happy birthday and welcome you are here at my channel c7 viper and we're gonna go through my collection everything behind me this is not a store that's my personal airsoft collection and i think it's pretty big that's what she said so this is gonna be a pretty long video but i'm gonna break down every single airsoft gun i have by type and show you guys we have done this before and in 2010 i had 30 airsoft guns in 2020 i had about 150 and in 2021 I had around 300. And look at that, I got a haircut in that time too. <laughs> What do you think? This time though, we're only going up from those numbers. And I guess we just gotta jump right into it because I've got a lot of guns and a little bit of time. So let's get out the first bucket. But before I get started, make sure you are subscribed. It's the best way to be notified of all the cool airsoft videos I put up and giveaways. Because I know you guys like giveaways. <laughs> this is the first bucket of airsoft guns. And this one is all springers. This whole bin is filled with spring airsoft guns. I'm not really gonna name each one because they're all just springers, but I will go through and count them. In this bucket, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. This is Little rat 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. This one's hydro dipped 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58. These are all Colt 25s. I've also got this spring AK 47 full size and these two three-quarter scale Barretts for 60 and 61. I actually use this in gameplay. So don't say I don't, but springers aren't always cheap. Like this one, this is a Kokusai SIG P220, and this one's a Marukoshi shell ejecting spring auto mag. Moving on to gas pistols, we've got two gas non-blowback Colt 25s, and we've got a bin of these cheaper CO2 non-blowbacks for when we do events. We loan these out. We've got two Umarex Combat Zone Enforcers, and we've got eight of these Z11 Zombie Eliminators. And now that we've gone through the cheap stuff, let's move to something a little more expensive. We've got the Tokyo Marui LCP non-blowback. We've got the Neapolitan flavors of the Wee Tech Colt Jr. Strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. A Marushin Cop 357, and four Marushin Derringers. Two of them in eight millimeter, and two of them in six millimeter. Now we've got a fan favorite, a bin of high High Kappas. And with the High Kappas, we have the Army Armament 604, Army Armament 603, a WeTech CQB Master, the Breast Cancer Awareness Tokyo Marui High Kappa, the Custom Tokyo Marui His and Hers C7 Viper and Mrs. C7 Viper High Kappas, a Tokyo Marui Battle Cat 43, the AW Custom HX22, a Tokyo Marui 51 with a Limb Cat Slide, a Tokyo Marui Rainbow High Kappa 51, a Tokyo Marui Stainless 51, a Tokyo Marui Gold Match 5-1, Tokyo Marui Black 4-3, WeTech 5-1, another WeTech 5-1, a WeTech Caspian, two WeTech Split Slide High Kappas, a WeTech 4-3, a WeTech Baby High Kappa 3-8, a WeTech Baby High Kappa 3-8 in Chrome, a Western Arms STI Edge, a Salient Arms 5-1, an Army Armament 501, an EMG STI 3 gun, 2009 Colt Rail Concept, two EMG Terran Tactical Combat Masters, one in Green Gas, one in CO2 a JAG 5-1, and two Echo 1 Taps, the tactical assault pistol. One in black, one in bronze. Moving on to 1911s, we have dual Novak Next 1911s, the Tokyo Marui Gungao Online Vorpal Bunny, an HFC non-blowback 1911, two WG 1911 Compact CO2 non-blowback, a custom chrome KWC 1911, two We 
Wetech Caspians, one in black and one with wood grips. A Wetech Socom Gear 1911. Two KJW 1911s, one is tapped. Two AW Customs Fly Girls 1911s with real wood grips. A KWC Colt Railgun CO2 Blowback. KJW 1911 Government. Two King Arms Iron Strike Predators, one in gas, one in CO2. An Army Armament 1911. A Wetech Silver Floral Custom 1911. A Gold Wetech 1911. A Socom Gear 24 Karat Gold Custom 1911, serial number 211. We got one Elite Force 1911 TAC, three regular black Elite Force CO2 1911s, one Elite Force 1911 with the blue grips, two Elite Force 1911s with the snakeskin grips, and to top off the 1911s, I have this KWC Custom 1911 CO2. It's been laser engraved with C7 Viper by our teammate Mike Tooch, who also gifted me this Tokyo Marui Desert Warrior. Now for some wheel guns. First we have the limited edition USA hater. Then we've got the limited edition red hater, a pair of the black haters, a post-apocalyptic hater, and a custom two-sided venom hater. Special thanks to Revan for helping me out on this. A pair of Elite Force smoke wagons, the Elite Force gambler, an HFC gas revolver. Not only do I have one Elite Force R8, we have five. Got the Elite Force M29 short barrel and the Elite Force M29 classic and five more of those. And yeah, we use them all. Full field chaos, only revolvers. A KWC Colt Python, a WG Super Sport 702, two WG short barrel revolvers, a custom WG revolver with seven round shells, a Dan Wesson 357 with Overwatch Reaper kit, Marushin Colt Peacemaker, King Arms Single Action Army, a Marushin 8mm police revolver, a Marushin Constrictor, a Marushin Taurus Raging Bull, the Tanaka 500 Magnum, it's very big, a pair of KTW Spring Flintlocks, and a pair of H HFC CO2 flintlocks, the Kraft Appleworks Camp Pistol, it's like a flare gun. Now it's time for Glocks. We've got the Elite Force Glock 42, a KSC Glock 26, a Tokyo Marui Glock 26, a KSC Glock 34, the Elite Force Glock 34, a KJW Glock 19, the AW Custom VX9, the SAI BLU Compact, two Elite Force Glock 19s, a Tokyo Marui Glock 17 with Surefire Repro, the GHK Glock 17, an Army Armament Glock 17, a KSC Glock 18C, an Elite Force Glock 18C with a few extras on it, a WeTech Bronze Floral Glock 18, and this is a bit of a special one. This is the Double Bell Glock 17 TTI. It is the original syrup gun, and it still smells like maple syrup for some reason. There it is. Ooh, I wish you could smell it. I'm gonna lock that back up so we can preserve the smell for another few years. And we're gonna move right into these Wii Galaxies because they are Glocks, technically. And we've got AAP-01s. This one is in tan. This is a custom Sith build. The AAP Milwaukee drill kit with a custom 3D printed CPM battery, a custom AAP Nintendo zapper, and whatever this monstrosity is. Got everything but the Easy Bake Oven. And we've got some Berettas, two Wii Tech Bulldog Compacts, a Tokyo Marine Marui PX4 Storm, a WeTech M92 in chrome, an HFC M92 in chrome, the HFC M9 in gray, a KJW M9 in black, a KWC Taurus M9, a Tokyo Marui Stars Resident Evil M92, and a WeTech Resident Evil Stars M92, KWA M9 PTP, KWA Beretta M93R, a WG Beretta 84, and a KWC M92 in a Roni kit. Next we have HK. We've got four of the HK USP non-blowbacks, and one HK USP in a carbine kit, an HK VP9 half blowback, an HK USP gas blowback, an HK45 gas blowback, an HK45C in tan, a two-tone HK VP9 full blowback, an HK USP compact in two-tone, Tokyo Marui HK45 gas blowback, two YMP HK Mark 23 non-blowbacks, the Novrich SSX 23 non-blowback, and the Tokyo Marui Mark 23 with LAM unit and mock suppressor. Two Jericho 941 Baby Desert Eagle CO2 non-blowbacks. Three Cybergun Desert Eagles, a Cybergun CO2 Desert Eagle, and two Tokyo Marui Hard Kick Desert Eagles, one chrome and one black. Two KJW SIG 229s. We've got a CO2 non-blowback SIG SP 2022, and this is a custom Tokyo Marui SIG P226 with metal kit. Two VFC FNX gas blowbacks, Marushin CO2 
FN57 and a Tokyo Marui Green Gas FN57. Two ASG CZ P09s in tan, an ASG CZ P09 in black with an amplifier and a primary adapter. A CZ P07 CO2 half blowback, a CZ Shadow 2, and an ASG CZ75 SP01. This was actually Swamp Sniper's pistol that he lost in the swamp and found again. This is my ASG CZ75 SP01 that I love. Now you see it. Now you don't. Yes. We've got two of the KWC SW 40F CO2 blowback, an Elite Force MMP 40 CO2 blowback, the ICS Black Leopard Eye, the VFC MMP 9C. We have two KSC 945s, one long, one compact, a GNG GTP 9, GNG Piranha Mark 1, the GNG Piranha SL, and we've got two of these GNG GPM 1911s in macaron blue. And boy, are they pretty. Two CO2 half blowback Umarex P99. We've got an Umarex Walther PPQ, a Wetec P99 gas blowback, and a custom Elite Force gas blowback lawgiver from Judge Dredd, made by CPM. I am the law. A Wetec Browning high power, two Wetec Lugers, one in chrome, one in black, an HFC HG160, the EMG Archon Type B, an SRC TT33, and a KWA TT33, the EMG Hudson H9, a CO2 blowback Homeland and Defender, two WG Panther 801s, a WeTech PM, but double. <laughs> We've got three KJW Mark I gas non-blowbacks and one is custom with a suppressor. The ASG BTUSW, the Well G196, KWC M712 broom handle, Farsan Thompson G2 contender, and we've got these two KJW GBB 618s. This one is normal, but this one is the stunt pistol. See, it says stunt gun, and I do all the mean stuff to this one. Still works though. We've got the KWA Magpul FPG in black, but we've also got it in white and pink. <laughs> all three of them, that's right. It's like when Thanos gets all the stones. And not all airsoft pistols have to be gas. Some can be electric, like these. We've got six of the SEMA 125s, two of the SEMA 122s, two of the SEMA USPs, a SEMA 1911, a SEMA Beretta 92, two SEMA Beretta M93s, and an EMG SAI BLU. We've got some gas blowback rifles, a Tipman CO2 CQB with M-Lock, a Tipman Carbine M4 CO2 with rail system, and a Tipman Omega CO2, KWC gas blowback rifle, the Wee Scar L CQC, the KWA PTS Masada, the Golden Eagle M-Lock gas blowback, the Golden Eagle M16 lightweight, a Well AK-74U, the KWA PTS Mega, the Golden Eagle M4 CQBR, the Wee AK PMC Spec Ops, a custom Wee PLR 16 Caltech, the GHK CQB Colt M4, and a Tokyo Marui Colt M4 MWS. We've also got gas SMGs, two KWC CO2 mini Uzis, a KWA Mac 10 with suppressor, and a second KWA Mac in the box. An Elite Force MP7, a pink modified PP2000, a KWA KMP9, a Wii P90, and a KWA Chris Vector. Now we got some shotguns. This is a UK Arms Chrome single pump shotgun. And a Maraca. This is a Double Eagle single shot M47, a Smith & Wesson single shot M3000, the Mossberg single shot M590, and the Mossberg M590 in full size. Three auto hardball single shot, a UK Arms single shot, Double Eagle M500 Spring, a Maruzen Remington Riot single shot, an A and K single shot, all metal, two Fab Arms STF-12 tri shot, a SEMA Matrix Special Edition M3 tri shot, a UTG tri shot, Firepower. MS tri shot. Hey, what happened to the rest of it? A SEMA post apocalyptic tri shot. An A and K single shot. Two A and K single shots. S and T M870 super magnum. A GMP M870 single shot. Two full size Jag scatter guns. An HPA tapped Jag scatter gun. A Hossan Mad Max gas shotgun. And the Hossan full size double barrel. A Marushin 8mm gas shotgun. APS Cam 870 special edition. The PPS XM26. 
Custom FCW Striker 12 Shotgun, the Street Sweeper. The Tokyo Marui KSG Gas Shotgun. The Tokyo Marui AA-12 Tri-Shot. And we've got a couple still in their boxes. This is the Tokyo Marui M3 Tri-Shot in the box. And we've got a Tokyo Marui Spaz-12 in the box. And now onto HPA. We've got a Tavor with a Polar Star F1. An MP5 with a Jack. An AUG with an F2. An Elite Force 4CRS with a Fusion Engine. An Elite Force G36 KV with a Fusion Engine. A custom Mad Bull JP Industries DMR with a Jack. An AK-74U with a Kythera. Two M14s with F2s. An SVD with an F2, a GNG combat machine with an F1, the Polar Star Demo 6 PR15 fusion engine with a Redline air stock. This was the sixth airsoft gun Polar Star ever made, even before serial number one. A first strike mechanical air stock, the MTW9 with an Inferno Gen 2, the Scorpion Evo 3 with an Inferno Gen 2, an Ares Amoeba Striker with a Wolverine Bolt, and the classic Army micro gun. And finally, uh, this Barrett 50 cal Deadpool rifle with a fusion engine from Polar Star. This whole thing is custom built and heavy. Now we're gonna move on to some AGs. We've got two Crossman Pulse R76 AKs with an HFC mini launcher on one. We've got a SEMA Beta Spetsnaz, a SEMA 522S, the SEMA 36A, the SEMA 50A, the SEMA 50 with the dong, another SEMA 50, a SEMA 522, the SEMA Anniversary AK, electric blowback, and the SEMA 42A, the APS 209 PMC, DITAC SLR in 9 inch and 5.4 inch, two G&G Combat Machine AKs, G&G RK-104, the Echo 1 Red Star Covert, the Echo 1 Red Star Bolt, the ENL AKMS 47, the LCT AK, AK-12, the Arcturus AK-12, the Arcturus AK-74U Custom, a custom built Tokyo Marui AK-47, a Tokyo Marui Next Gen Recoil Shock AK-102, a SEMA Bison, three Echo One Genesis Victor Bisons, the LCT PP-19, the G&G PRK-9 CQB, two Snow Wolf PPSHs, the Echo One Red Star Igor, two G&G GSS, and a custom post-apocalyptic AK-74 with rubber bayonet. MP5 time. We have a spring shell ejecting MP5K, an Elite Force MP5K competition, an Echo One MP5K, two Elite Force MP5Ks, one is custom, a SEMA MP5 PDW Swordfish, it's got the charm on it, G&G MP5A4, an Elite Force Force MP5A4, Tokyo Marui MP5 PDW High Cycle, a Tokyo Marui MP5A5 with a flashlight, a SEMA MP5A5, and it's got an HFC mini launcher, an ICS MP5 SD6, an ICS MP5 SD6 Airsoft Elite model, a Tokyo Marui MP5 SD6, an Echo 1 MP5 with front rail, Echo 1 MP5 Vector Arms with front rail, the Elite Force MP5 Limited Edition, an Echo 1 P90, Classic Army P90 in black, Classic Army P90 in green, Cybergun P90 in black, Cybergun P90 in pink, a custom Cybergun P90 with the Terminator kit, the EMG Crytac P90, the Novrich SSR 90, a JG G36, Tokyo Marui G36, an Ares G36C, a KWA G36C, an Elite Force G36CV, an Elite Force G36KV, a Star UMP, two Elite Force UMPs, the G G&G PCC-45, an Elite Force SL-9, a custom Tokyo Marui Classic Army G3 mashup, the JGT3, a Double Eagle Low Power SIG 552, two Tokyo Marui SIG 552s, an ICS SIG 551, a Tokyo Marui SIG 550. Okay, let's get into some weirder ones. We've got two of the KWA TK-45 RM-4 Ronins, a KWA VM-4 Ronin, the limited edition Alpine White Crytac Chris Vector, the limited edition Chris Vector by Crytek, and a Crytek Chris Vector with Ace Tech Thor and Vic. The Cybergun Tommy Gun, the G&G F2000, the Cybergun F2000, two Caltech RDB 17s, a Snow Wolf MP18, an Army Armament AUG R907, an Army Armament AUG R905, Magpul PTS Masada, an A&K Masada, the Real Sword.
Lord Type 97, a Custom Built Scar L, a Cyber Gun Scar L, a G&G &G FNC, a Star FNC, the ICS M3 Grease Gun. Thanks to my lovely wife who is not holding me hostage right now. She bought it for me as a gift. The CZ Scorpion Evo 3 ATEC, a SEMA AK in an SRU Bullpup Kit, the Halo Chrono Blaster, I'm pretty sure Master Chef uses this one, the ASG Hera Arm CQR, the Snow Wolf M41 Pulse Rifle, look out aliens, the 6mm Pro Shop FAL, everyone's favorite, the Daisy Airstrike ASAX, it's a Maraca! A Daisy Spring Model 12 shell ejecting. Three of the ASG VZ61 Scorpions. A Tokyo Marui MP7 AEP. Tokyo Marui Electric Uzi. Tokyo Marui Scorpion Mod M AEP with a corner shot. With a little tiny shotgun shell launcher. The Echo 1 Chrome Gat. An Echo 1 All Black Gat. The Echo 1 Spectre RDP. G&G &G Stealth Gold ARP9. A G&G &G Hybrid ARP9 SSG1. An ICS Mars CXP PDW. The EMG Sharp Bros Jack 9. Angstad Arms SCW9. The Echo 1 Mod 3. KWA QRF Mod 1. The Zion Arms PW9 Mod 0. The Zion Arms PW9 Mod 1. The KWA Ronin 4. Drifter Edition, two SEMA Platinum AR-47s, EMG CMMG Resolute AR-47, the Elite Force 416 Competition, three Elite Force VFC Avalon 416s, an Elite Force 416 GI Custom Cyclone. Whew. Look, it's a Cyclone. We're gonna do M4s now. We're gonna do M4s. A Tokyo Marui M4 with Colt Metal Kit. EMG Sharp Rose Overthrow. The DITAC Warlord. The EMG Umbrella Corp AR-15. The SIG MCX. The DITAC SLR. The Crytek Trident Defiance TR-110. The Crytek Trident Defiance TR-105. G&G Combat Machine Custom. A KWA KM4 SR-10 with a GMP-203 launcher. KWA RM4 SR-10 with an ICS-203 launcher. Two EMG SEMA Platinum Land Tax, Illiterate Edition, Ares SR-16, KWA Magpul M4, KWA KM4, KWA M4S System, KWA RM4 Ronin, Classic Army Mark 16, Lancer Tactical Interceptor, Echo 1 AR-57 with hidden battery compartment, G&G GR-16 R4, and ENL M4, ICS 2006 Anniversary Edition, ICS PCR-97, ICS M44 Tactical Carbine, Tokyo Marui M4A1, Tokyo Marui M733 with a star conversion kit. A G&G ARP556 2.0. G&G Combat Machine. Calico Jack. Fecna Arms Rock River Arms. Fecna Arms M4. The Lancer Tactical LT29. You guys dubbed it the Beater Tactical. I mean, what haven't I done to this? We dragged it behind a car. We threw it in a pond. And it's gone. Hope I catch something. And it still works. A low power DPMS Panther. A DPMS Panther with a custom Tommy gun drum mag. A low power tactical force M4. The Game Face GFM 4BT low power. The Echo 1 Mod 2. Falcon ASL. G&G GR16. A Lancer Tactical Lonex. Noveski NSR9. Classic Army with a Mad Bull Talon kit. Custom Mad Bull Patriot build. The Falcor Reese in gold. KWA KR9. G&G SR15 Mod. Mod 2, Specna Arms Edge, Lancer Tactical LT34, AGM M4, Tipman M4 AEG in cotton candy colors, ICS CXP Custom, Tokyo Marui M4 with a Colt Metal Kit and a 203 launcher, a Classic Army Scarab with a Mad Bull 203 launcher, a GMP M4 used by Evic Matt in Bad Blood 2014. And I've got a couple of combat machines that I use to loan out to friends when they want to come and play and get into the sport. So we've got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I also have a G&G Combat Machine Intermediate Series, all metal. Echo One Stag Arms, an ICS CXP, Arcturus M-Lock M4, Novrich SSR4, all metal, with a fancy Novrich sticker on it. EMG Spike Tactical, EMG F1 Demolition Ranch, a custom painted Tiger Stripe G&G Combat Machine given to me by my friend Matt, AKA Tiger. A KWA KM4 SR10, Magpul Edition, KWA Eve 4, G&G SSG1. Super Speed Boys, I'm so fast! 
Mrs. C7 Vipers DSG Sleeper Build, Custom Painted Tokyo Marui 733, Classic Army XM177, a completely tricked out Sistema with Noveski body and Knight's Armament rail with a real Comp M4, a Noveski NSR15 in Cryptek Obscura, and a Noveski NSR15 in Cryptek Obscura with matching hydro dipped stock. The G&G &G Cobalt Kinetics BAMP Team Rifle. Oops. EMG F1 in black and red. EMG F1 in blue from Caleb. EMG F1 in red. Yeah, that's the red gun behind me. EMG F1 in teal from CPM. The BFC Avalon Caliber 2 in bronze. The EMG Sharp Bros Hellbreaker. Lancer Tactical LT36. A Bolt B4A1 Carbine. The VFC Avalon BCM. Custom KWA KM4. VFC Avalon Mark 18. SEMA M14. Two-tone G&G M14 in camo and black. Classic Army SOCOM M14 with a real comp M4 also. G&G M14 with with real wood. G&G &G M14 EBR, a second G&G &G M14 EBR, an Echo 1 M14 EBR with a Jag Scattergun Master Key. Echo 1 SR25, G&G &G SR25, the G&G &G Canadian C7, just like me, but I'm American. Two G&G &G TR16s, the G&G &G Type 64, ICS M16, another ICS M16, Golden Eagle M16, ENC Vietnam M16, an ANK lever action in plastic, an ANK real wood lever action, thanks Daniel, an ANK lever action mare's leg, my friend John got me this for my birthday, the Navrich SSX303 the KJW KCO2, the KJW Mark 1 Carbine, the Ares Striker AS03, courtesy of my friend Mark, Daisy Mini 14, all wood shell ejecting, HFC Mauser Real Wood, two UTG Master Snipers, a Well MB44, the EMG EV01, a gas powered L96, the HFC Super 9, a SEMA Spring L96, an EMG EV01 in green, an Ares Striker AS01, the Echo 1 Nemesis Arms Vanquish, a UTG L96, two Macmillan M40A3s, a custom painted Macmillan M40A3 in 90s cup theme. Feel the nostalgia. JG VSR 10, HFC VSR 10, ASG Mark 13 Mod 7, the Ares MSR, the Lancer Tactical Barrett Spring 50 Cal, Swamp Snipers Modify Swamp Sniper, yeah, it was his, a KJW M700, originally owned by Ben from Polar Star, the Novrich SSG 10, two Novrich SSG 10 A3s, the Tokyo Marui PSG 1, SEMA MLOC SVD, an A and K Spring SVD Dragonoff, Real Wooden Metal Aim Top SVD CO2, the ATOS SVD with PSO scope, a Real Sword SVD AEG, a King Arms Mosin Nagant with bayonet, an S&T DSR sniper, and now we've got a few LMGs to go through. We got three Star 249 saws, two of them are para. The a &K M60 Mark 43, the Ares M60, a Star Mark 46, a Cybergun M249 Featherweight, it's light, Cybergun Mark 46 Middleweight, an LCT RPK, the Raptor PKP, the Echo 1 M240 Bravo, and we've got a few launchers as well. This Hand Cannon 203 launcher, an S&T Standalone launcher, an M72 Law, a Full Metal Craft Apple Works Revolving Grenade Launcher with an under barrel grenade launcher just for overkill. And an ICS revolving grenade launcher that a lot of you guys have seen me merc some noobs with. Jake, you almost got murked. Not to mention, I also have a whole bunch of these new old stock airsoft guns. A Marui AK-47. See? A Tokyo Marui VSR-10 in black. Another Marui VSR-10 in fake wood. A Tokyo Marui Type 89, all metal. Tokyo Marui MP5A4, still fresh. A Tokyo Marui Beta Spetsnaz AK. Tokyo Marui G3 SAS, oh yeah. Tokyo Marui M4 RIS. The first ever AEG, the Tokyo Marui FAMAS. Tokyo Marui AUG. Tokyo Marui M4A1. An AIM Top M4A1. A Classic Army MP5A2 with a flashlight. A Classic Army M15A4. Classic Army M15A4. The Classic Army SLR105A1. 
So that is it. That is everything in my airsoft gun collection as of right now. And that brings our grand total up to 723. That's a lot of airsoft guns. And I'm sure by the time you're watching this, there will be plenty more. And just like all my other collection videos, I didn't include things like grenades, claymores, landmines, and even mortars, because they're not airsoft guns. And usually everyone asks me, but I'm gonna ask you, which one out of my collection is your favorite? Tell me down below. And if you're nice, maybe I'll tell you my favorite. All right, everybody, that's it for me. I will see all of you on the next video. Have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh man, I just, I thought I was done. But look up here. Look at that. Look at it. An S&T 240 Bravo hanging from the ceiling. I guess that makes the number 724. I just keep finding them.